Hi, good evening. I wanted to come in to talk about uh, a tofa, a uh, symptom that I've been seeing coming up for people in the past few weeks and uh, past few months, and that is incontinence. Okay, it could be very little. It could just be a couple of drops of pee that just winds up uh, not being able to be controlled, and um, or it can be full on like a full pee. And I want people to understand why this is coming up now, what the mechanism is. I'm sure it's something that people aren't necessarily asking about because it could be like, well, what the heck? Like, and it's embarrassing. And, you know, for some people, although it shouldn't be, and um, people might just think like, oh, it's a fluke and okay, they'll do their Kegels. If you guys know what Kegels are, uh, the exercises of the pelvic floor that can help strengthen uh, the muscles and stop incontinence. And so I just want to explain why this might be coming up for adults and children alike right now. It doesn't matter the age, it doesn't matter the strength of the person or how strong the Kegels are on a day-to-day -day basis. The bottom line is that the bladder meridian, right, from the um, concept of the meridian lines, the organ meridians, Chinese medicine. So it's not just Chinese medicine. This is health. Um, and just Chinese medicine is how you know, the title under which we discuss meridians, but it's not only people who work with Chinese medicine that can have these symptoms, obviously, right? We're talking, it's just kind of like saying, oh, well, anatomy only, you know, uh, is something that applies to people who are in the medical field or something like that. Like, it's something that exists within all of us. Um, so the bladder meridian runs along, uh, well, the major part of it runs along the spine um, in two separate lines, actually. One closer to the spine along the paraspinals, for those of you who are, are familiar with anatomy, and then one a little bit further out, a parallel line a little bit further out. So there's two lines on either side, right? One on the right side, one on the left side. And when the bladder meridian, it also extends down to the feet and up to the brow, but when the bladder meridian is um, particularly overwhelmed, then we see the symptom of incontinence, either slight leaks or like I said, full on just uh, peeing accidents. Why is this happening? Well, guess which emotion the bladder meridian is connected to? Fear. And when we are afraid, we can feel a lack of control. It triggers, actually, physiologically, a lack of control. The fear kind of uh, creates a freezing up, right? Like, why do people in car accidents or people in other um, serious situations where fear has come up very strongly for them and people who are threatened their lives are threatened in some way why will that be a reaction that happens in the body why do we kind of lose control it's the bladder brain it's just the fear taking over and freezing us and then it just so it's totally normal it's totally normal it's just a symptom of the times that we're living in and I will direct you to a video that I did on YouTube. Um, it's actually episode number 48 on my vlog, Empowerment of a Woman. And it's a self-healing tip for the bladder meridian. And it's something that you can do every day to help strengthen the bladder meridian, help clear it, help balance it, and hopefully help the uh, whole physiology emotionally and physically that's involved with being able to control the muscle that allows the pee to come out um, to allow that to maintain control even during times of extreme fear and distress so i will just tell you quickly it's just really two points here that are massaged and i really highly recommend that you go check out that video and uh, again episode number 48 on uh, my channel devora harrow uh, empowerment of a woman you can just search any of those 
um, words in YouTube. And um, the other thing that I recommend is Mediterranean Rock Rose Flower Essence, which helps allay fears. Uh, you can also check out the reel that I did on Hope on Chicory Essence. We're just in a place where even if and when we have our strongest faith, we're human, we're human, and we can feel the fear and we can feel the distress. And then we can pull ourselves up and say, okay, we know that this is all part of the divine plan and we are strong in our faith. And yet in those moments when we're human, we can feel the fear and the pee can come out. And it might be something that like really takes you by surprise and really is like, okay, that was just a fluke, but then it'll happen again. So these are two things that can help you very, very easily. First of all, the awareness, right, is so important, just knowing, and then knowing what you can do, you can do about it. So here's two things that you can do about it. Go check out that video and do those exercises on a daily basis, even a couple of times a day. Again, it's really simple and it can literally just take a few seconds to a minute. Um, and you can check out the Mediterranean Rock Rose Essence at baityoga.com backslash shop and, uh, and chicory. All right. Sending love. And I hope that this calms you. Um, and please send this around because I'm sure, I'm sure that there are friends that are going through this and aren't talking about it. So just share this wide and see who might help. All right. Sending love. Thank you.